I hope that all of you can feel the sense that's surrounding you right now, can feel the wonderful joy and that wonder of it's here, it's finally here. You are surrounded by love and wonder and also a seriousness among these friends and family that don't take for granted that God has brought you together. So I get a call from Marshall, and he says he met this wonderful gal. And Dad, I think this is the one. Marshall and I met when we were working at U.S. Fleet together. I always thought she was cute, but that's just, you just don't go near the boss's daughter. I knew that. I started getting office supplies, and I would go up there during the weekdays to do it, but I switched my schedule to Saturdays because I knew that Marshall was working those days. Every time I knew she was coming up there, I just always lend a hand and make sure that she wasn't doing that on her own. And we built this friendship just by doing that. When they came in and asked permission to date, it's like, all right, this has got to be an HR violation somehow, right? Well, she's not his boss. said with a sparkle in his eye I met this girl at work and I said really tell me a little bit about her so as he begins to tell me about this girl he also kind of mentioned um, well her dad's kind of like the boss and I'm kind of like oh okay that may not be a great idea <laughs> But you know what, as all of us are here tonight, we know what a great idea that was. Everybody looks at me and thinks that I raised my daughter alone. And I didn't. Her mom was there every single day. I was so humbled to fill in on making side and be part of looking at dresses, decorations, all of that. And it's not something I take lightly. Marshall, I'm so going to miss calling you fiance, but I'm so ready to be your wife. Flashbacks keep running through my mind of all the memories you and I share. The one memory that never fades is the night we watched a Thunder game outside of office hours. You know how much I enjoy basketball, but that night I was only fixated on the girl I was destined to marry. I have never regretted any day in my life since that day. Because how can I have a bad day with with you by my side. When you look back at all the events in our lives and really see how amazing it is that we ended up together, it makes, it makes you say everything happens for a reason. You're my love story. You're my happy ending. You're the love of my life. She was always the one. I could immediately see why Marshall was so enamored with Megan because she's so open and honest and beautiful inside and outside. I could tell you love her so much because every time you speak about Megan, you, you just have this gleam in your eye and, you know, smile on your face.
was watching Megan come down the aisle tonight and I saw her face, she was so excited. And she was crying and smiling. That made me cry and smile too because I thought, here she is walking up to the man that I had a part in raising and she was so excited to be joining herself with presence of God in this community. I, Marshall, take you, Megan. I, Marshall, take you, Megan. To be my wife. To be my wife. In the presence of God in this community. I, Megan, take you, Marshall. Megan, take you, Marshall. To be my husband. To be my husband. <laughs> to have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Two sizes too big. You can do anything you can imagine. Love with all your hearts. Give everything you have. I love you both. And I wish only the best for you.